Hey y'all, it's your girl Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my family. And if you're a returning family member, welcome back. You guys know I love when you guys come to visit. So y'all, happy Vlogmas. I'm not sure what day this is, but happy Vlogmas. Anyway, today we will be doing a collab with my bestie, Miss Louisiana Housewife. If y'all are not familiar with Miss Louisiana Housewife, please get over there and check her channel out. Her link will be in the description below. But um, if you're not subscribed to me, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, share my video out, and leave me a comment down in the comment section. So y'all today, this collab is all about warm and hearty foods for the soul during winter. Um, I live in Florida. I don't even know why I'm making a warm dish for the soul, but here we are. Okay, so today I will be making a easy crock pot chili. Uh, very few ingredients. Well, I guess it's a few ingredients, but that's okay. It's not very hard to make. You just dump and go. So um, we have, I have prepared my ground beef right here and I have some onion in it. I cooked the onion in it already and I like extra onion in my ground beef. So I put a lot, a lot of onion. I used a huge onion in my, um, in my ground beef, but you guys can use whatever size onion you want if you want onion at all. I also have um, some dark red, let me see if y'all can see that, dark red kidney beans, y'all. When y'all get your kidney beans out of the can, make sure you rinse them off. Rinse them off until the water comes clear because they're in that nasty brine and you don't want that brine in your chili, trust me. I also have some tomato paste. I have some minced garlic. I usually use, uh, fresh garlic, but I didn't feel like chopping none today, so we gonna use the minced garlic from the Walmart. I have some Rotel with chilies. I have diced tomatoes. And then for my spices, I make my own spices for the chili, y'all. And for my spices, I just have cumin, uh, chili powder, cayenne pepper, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. That's it. That's the whole, that's all of the spices right there you're gonna need. And I'll put the, um, the, the recipe to my spices um, in the description below if you guys want to know how to make your own spices. Don't use that packet stuff. It's loaded with salt. You can't contain it. So we're going to go ahead and get into this, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dump. I don't know if y'all can see that. Hold on. Let me readjust my, my situations here so I can pull my pot up. And my pot is already uh, warm, y'all, because... I don't like putting nothing in a cold crock, crock pot. So it's already warm. So we just um, dump the meat off in there. I know y'all hear that little bit of a sizzle. Don't worry, it's fine. Ain't nothing gonna burn, I promise. Then we're gonna add our diced tomatoes, juice and all. Give that a little bit of a stir. That is hot. I forgot it was on and touched it, y'all, because I'm special. Then we're gonna pour our Rotel, and I might actually use an extra can of Rotel for the flavor. But this is gonna be a bit of a thick chili, y'all, so I know it looks thick right now. Let me see if y'all can see it a little better. There we go. It looks really thick right now. That's what it's supposed to look like because I like thick chilies. I don't like no watered down chili, okay? Then I have my red kidney beans rinsed. Get those stirred up in there. And y'all don't hear the sizzle no more. I told y'all it's gonna be okay. I'm sure. Let me pull this up a little bit. get our garlic in here and I'm just gonna use like about two heaping tablespoons of garlic because I like garlic and then we're gonna use um, about two ounces of this tomato paste and I'm gonna eyeball that too Let me 
get something to grab that with because I don't like that it's jiggling all over the place and all this noise. So, it, like I said, y'all, it is a thick chili. And we're going to get all our spices in. And the spices you can adjust once it starts cooking. If you need more, you can add more. But this is usually the amount of spice that I use for this size chili. So. one of two things you can let this cook down for six hours on low or you can let it cook down for four hours on high I just happen to be home so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on four hours um, at the highest temperature so we'll come back once it's all done and show you guys what it looks like I'll see you guys in a minute hey y'all I'm back our chili is done let's go ahead and get into this pot y'all it did loosen up just a little bit, but that's how I like it. I don't like my chili too thin, and I like it thick, but not too, too thick. Um, off camera, guys, I did add a couple of bay leaves and some bell peppers, because I did forget that. Um, so we got a couple bay leaves and some bell peppers in there, but that was just added off camera. I'm gonna go ahead and dish some of this up for you guys, so you can, oh, that's hot. So y'all can see what we got going on in this pot here. Oh, I guess I can use this. It's okay. So this is nice and hearty, y'all. Oh, you know what I usually do? Hold on. I like my um, chili to have like a lot of cheese in it. So let me put some cheese. I usually put it on the bottom and on the top. Just so I can have some extra flavor all the way in and through. I'm gonna give y'all some of this hit chili. Ooh, I'm making a mess as usual. That ain't nothing new. Y'all should be used to that by now. Daisy, y'all, on top of my, um, my chili because I love sour cream and chili. I know it's a little more, honey. but it's all right, y'all get the gist. All right, then I like to add some green onion on top. And I like the top and the bottom of the green onion. So I cut a little bit off the top and a little bit off the bottom. Then we got us some crackers. I'm gonna eat on the side. I just dip them in there when I'm ready. 
And that's it, y'all. We got us some good hearty, quick and easy. Well, maybe not so quick, but it definitely was easy. I'll say a um, dump and go, an easy dump and go recipe for you guys. And I'll bring it up a little closer so you guys can see what it looks like. It is good and hearty. I'm gonna get my belly full off that and I'm going clean to sleep, y'all. I can tell you that much right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this simple, simple recipe. It's for those people that don't wanna be in front of the stove and just wanna dump some ingredients in your car pot and just go on about your day. Four hours on high, six hours on low, and you got this beautiful bowl of chili right here. Thank you guys for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you share my video out, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment down in the comment section. Again, don't forget this video was a collaboration with my bestie, Miss Louisiana Housewife. So I'll leave her link in my description below as well. Please go check her out, subscribe to her channel, and I will see you guys in my next vlogmas video. Bye y'all.